So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, armatures, sculpture armatures. Uh, I'm often asked by uh, fellow sculptors how I make my armatures. Uh, the purpose of an armature is to hold the modelling material, the clay or the plasticine uh, or the plaster of Paris, um, uh, basically hold it. Because if this, this is going to be a, a little owl and if the wing was just made out of clay, it obviously wouldn't be strong enough and the whole thing would flop. I make my armatures, this is made out of uh, perforated aluminium, but I make them so that they can be articulated. So I, I can change the sculpture still at the armature stage. Um, it doesn't really matter what an armature looks like as long as it's strong enough to hold the sculpture. Um, the important thing is uh, you have to bear in mind how the foundry are going to make a mould of your finished sculpture. So. For example, on this one, which is the armature of a roe deer head, uh, I've made the antlers so that they can be removed um, in the mould making stage because otherwise it's a very complicated mould. So it's easier for the foundry to just remove it. So I'm thinking about that uh, at this, the arm armature stage. The general skull shape won't move, but I, I might want to be able to move the ears so that I can change the expression. Um, so again, I, I can do this pretty easily by making the ears attached out of aluminium. I can change the whole starts, not starts, but the, the, the attitude of, of the sculpture. Uh, basic tools, I use an arc welder, uh, which is fairly agricultural, um, stick rods, uh, various different sizes for different thicknesses of metal. Um, it's not a particularly pretty weld, but it doesn't need to be, it's only functional. Um, various bits of kit to bend metal. Uh, the great thing about an arc welder is you can heat up a metal rod and make it red hot and just bend it. Um, this is one of my favourite tools, this is a rebar cutter. So when I first started sculpting I would, I would cut bar with, with an angle grinder and you get lots of dust and dirt and the whole place would stink. Uh, nowadays I've got this. basically an overgrown pair of scissors. Very quick, very useful uh, and clean. Um, I use various different metals. I've got copper wire, steel wire, aluminium wire at, at different thicknesses. The great thing about aluminium is it doesn't, uh, it's got no springs. It doesn't, you bend it and it stays where you bend it. So there's a little bit about armatures.